Hello my friends, welcome back to the Enhanced Swarm mod. We're going to be jumping into Enemy Within, or rather we are going to be jumping a little parasite into, what is her name, Lasara? I think it's Lasara. <laughs> we're gonna, and then we're going to be popping on in and blasting things. You know, taking over this little stinky shuttle. Conserve your forces early on to make the end of the mission easier. Oh, <laughs> wait a moment. Uh, I guess we're not getting infinite stuff here. Let's uh, <laughs> keep that in mind. Whoa. Come for you to grow oh, okay. We teleported over to... <laughs> Got it. We teleported over to where we turned into <laughs> the Adra. We got the biomass. Oh, that's a nice little thing. Uh, let's read our intelligence. The Protoss captured several specimens of Zerg for future study. Free them to bolster your forces. The logs recovered from Lasara also list a unique sample of biomass stored somewhere in the vessel that could you be used to bolster our overseers. Find it if possible. Okay. I like overseer upgrades. That sounds nice. Maybe we could give them like an overseer gun. <laughs> I feel like I've seen an image before, a StarCraft meme of, meme of an overseer holding a pistol. We do not have the ability to make units here. We have Kinetic Blast. The huh. Without okay, we have units, don't worry. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah! Oh, hello! Oh, I did damage fast. Oh, jeez. We're fine. Uh, let's see... Well, okay, these have 3-3. Three, three. That's why they killed the Zealot so quick. So we have 3-3 three, three Giga Speed attack uh, Zerglings. No wonder the game wants us to keep them. <laughs> All right. Just keep grabbing. Oh, Dragoons. Hi. Ah, we lost one. Darn. We're going to try to be as careful as we can. Uh, try not to lose these Zerglings if at all possible. I think we're fine. Just trying to figure out when to use energy. What is our energy regeneration rate like? Can we just blast something to see? Uh, it's okay, but not bad. Not great. Those are Centurions, though. We gotta be careful about that. So we probably want to have this guy come on forward. Fly Whoa, that's a Reaver. Oh, uh, okay. One moment, please. Oh, no. Oh, I'm gonna die. No! <laughs> okay. At least we know this first room isn't too scary. Um, that is a reaver with a shield battery in a time-constrained area because it's building cannons. <laughs> okay. We gotta, we gotta treat this mission with, uh, respect. Wow. That's, uh, that sure is something. Okay, optimize this opening. Blast through this, grab these guys. Easy peasy. Uh. Yeah, it's kind of okay. Now, how do we want to deal with this? I think the first thing we want to do is find that probe. Probe needs to die. Where is he? I don't see him. That's not good. There he is. Oh, he's still building. Circling's this way. Careful, careful. Fire that up in the air, try to split them off. I, I feel more comfortable dealing with the buildings if uh, we can deal with the Reaver, right? We'll be okay. I mean, we can just use the uh, the regeneration on the Bile Spewer in order to deal with that, so... We gotta pull him out, though. I kept trying to do that, and it wasn't working, because I'm bad. Our 
time has I think the fear of the Reaver is worse than the actual Reaver itself, you know? There we go, we got it. Yadra's regeneration is fantastic. Then it does appear that they only have a single pylon powering all of this. So we know what Protoss player is helming this ship. There we go. The regeneration is so good, but it's also really scary. So uh, we do have to find the secret, right? And what I'm thinking is that over here is always a weird open bit. There we go. We found it. Um, how do we get it? Get the zerglings over here. Can we bile the door? Uh, I'm feeling like we don't have the tool necessary here because zerglings cannot leap without a target. None of this is a target. Hydras can't do anything. Neadra can't do anything. Okay, we're going to move on, but we're going to remember this. If I had to make a bet, it would be we morph Neadra to level 2. And then when she is level 2, she gains a new ability that's going to be able to get across. Yeah, that sounds correct to me. As someone who has no idea what they're talking about. Oh, a little guy. Hey. I got adepts. I love seeing the variety of Protoss stuff in this mod. Like, the adept doesn't change much, but it is an adept, it's just something different. It's something Protoss that you never really get to fight in the campaigns. I think that's very neat. Bring all the lings forward. I'm trying to be very careful with these lings. I mean, some of them are naturally gonna die, that's just how lings do. But I feel like the double hunter killer, double bile spitter is more than enough to deal with most things. The energy, it is oh, that's a Templar. You found their warp drive. Destroy it, and this vessel will never reach Shakuras. Got him. You gotta do the bile flank. The shield is down. All right, let's uh, you over here. Let's wait on the cooldown of these abilities. Maybe you guys here, bro, right here. This seems like it could be kind of a good position. And this is all off cooldown. You are not burrowed. There you go. So you're gonna just shift Q over here and we're gonna focus on this fight. Nailed it. Alright, so we get through here, and then... Oh, wait, does this... Oh, well. I really hope this doesn't lock this. That will be really bad. I, I don't know if it does. Oh, gosh. Because I want to go back and get the thing. But we haven't gotten anything new that could, like, help with that. Let's level up. Spawn Banelings, Spawn Banelings. Okay, okay, okay. That's what we gotta do. We gotta go over there and we gotta use Spawn Banelings. That's actually really cute. I like that. Hey. You gotta come too. We gotta go over there, we gotta Spawn Banelings on this and then have them touch the point. That's really, really cool. I like that. It, oh, it's open. <laughs> Never mind. The all-seeing eye obtained. Overseers have plus three vision and detection range. That's uh, that's actually quite nice. Obviously not the most important upgrade in the history of the world, but just having a little bit of a benefit is pretty good. Being able to have them follow things in the back instead of in the front means they're less liable to die of splash and that kind of stuff. Archons are the most scary thing in the universe, so... Blow him up like that. Nope. <laughs> we annihilated that guy. 
Uh, that is my favorite part about rapid fire hotkeys is, is you just hold the button on top of that guy and or anything like that. Moment he pops out, he's gone. So in the next room, we're going to hit Neadra level 3, most likely. And that should help out a lot. Oh, no spawn bailings here. We have to be very, very... Oh, no. Did it not fire a scarab? Okay. Oh, gosh. Dark Archon. Just get him moving. <laughs> I don't know what we lost right there. Uh, those came in very rapid succession. It's uh, probably like five or six times faster than in the base campaign. And uh, we didn't have time to think about that last group. Let's turn her into a destroyer. And wild mutation is amazing for these zerglings. What a great pickup here. So for this next room... Gotta get our husband. Perfect. And then, uh, I don't think the rest of this biomass matters in any way, shape, or form, but we're gonna grab it. I'm conditioned to grab all the biomass that I can. And I think, ooh, more guys. I think for the end, we're just gonna sit here for a moment, and we're gonna wait for Wild Mutation to get off cooldown. So, <clears throat> for this next area, I bet what we're gonna have to do is alternate between Wild Mutation and Spawn Banelings. Very long cooldown on each. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. Nobody died there, right? Why are they coming this way? I'm just healing. Wait for me. <laughs> the event hasn't started. There's almost 90 Protoss in there. Ugh. Okay, let's go. First group, Spawn Banes. That's a lot of guys. Oh gosh, that's a lot of storms too. Maybe Wild Mutation would have been better and then get stormed in the second one. Get the Ursodon in the front. Take down these guys. And then we're gonna... Oh, wow, wow, Mild Mutation. He's not a Zerg. Oh, he's not a Zerg. He doesn't get the benefit. I tried to shield him. That was my mistake. How are we doing on time, though? We have this and that. 61 seconds is a lot of time, which means we can do stuff. Oh, there's a Reaver up there, too. Eh, almost got it. Oh, wow. Hello. We will never be defeated. We give our lives for the call. Oh man, Argon's an art. Make our way over here. Shield? I think we're fine. I think that we had more than enough at the end here. That even though things went kind of meh. That's a dark archon though. Let's uh make sure you got shot. Perfect. No more energy. Split the Archon damage. Oh, jeez, they melt things. 43 versus biological. <laughs> okay. Those Archons hit so hard. This is the thing, whenever you're playing really uh, anything that has to do with regeneration tanking, you have to be so careful. Because if it doesn't, uh, if you don't have enough regeneration, you die so fast. I'm sure you've all been there in like RPGs and stuff where you have really high health regeneration and then something does enough burst and you're just like, oh, that's awkward. Hey, wait, no, uh, Donnie, are you massive? Hey, you are. Perfect. You're not Zerg, so be careful. Oh, I just pulled them back through the storm. I got scared and I got stormed as a result. I think we can be a little bit more safe than we were. The timer does seem fairly long. Our time has come. Strike now. We must buy our brother's time. 
The stun comboed with the bile. Very good. Then we want to jump up here. Oh, we don't even need to jump. <laughs> Donnie's really the force field breaker. Let's just go over here this time. Uh, I don't mind sniping this guy, though. We need you in the front, sir. Go get him. Then be very, very cautious with our movements. You guys here. Let's see. Snipe the Dark Archon. And get the stun. File. File. Easy. 55 seconds remaining as well. Not a problem. 14 enemies remaining. That's not very many. We do have to remember that Reaver is right there. Did they just hit him with a scarab midair? <laughs> That's crazy. That's not how scarabs work. You can't do that. Oh. Everyone was stunned. I was like, why can't I bile? Because everyone was lost and confused. Got it. Okay, we got all the bonus objectives, we got everything else, and we did it pretty quick. Let's jump into the next mission. Why not? Uh, that was so fast that I don't want to end the video here. So let's take a look-see at that good old... We have to go to the primal place, right? Yeah, I think so. Because Char is required last in this mod. So let's give this a look. And it looks like we are getting the Mutalisk and the Swarm Host, but the Swarm Host had a bunch of spikes. So I hope that if you step on top of it while it's burrowed, it does five damage. <laughs> it's just like, ow, my foot. So we don't have any upgrades. I guess we can switch these around for regular missions now. I'm not sure we're going to make too many of these on this mission, but bonus versus light seems good. There's not that many structures, so I'm not sure that that'd be worth it. There's not many structures here either, so I don't think we need the loot ability here. And then I think we're going to go with the snipe ability on these guys. The uh, energy drain aspect of it. The primal. Or the feedback. What do you know? You know what I mean. Buffing the snipe ability. But we'll see how exactly good the Mutalisk is. And one thing I'm going to keep in mind is that we... Okay, supplement uh, Vuvuzelas with the Devouring Ones or Hunter Killers to deal with threats they are not suited to handle. Sounds good. Uh, one thing I'm keeping in mind so is, is that we just got an upgrade for the Overseer, which says to me that we're going to get blasted by <laughs> Cloakers. You know how it is. Spawns primals. Annihilation this guy over here. Maybe this guy over here. Build up. Ah, oh, we got. We just got a letter. Killing the primal hives is likely to enrage Brack. Make sure you are ready before doing so. All right. Sounds good to me. We can get these upgrades. Crawlers and primal worms gain plus one range. Crawlers root almost instantly. We don't have primal worms, right? No, we don't. Probably unlock them like this mission or the next one. And uh, crawlers and primal worms take a maximum of 25 damage from all non-spell sources. This might be good. This might actually be very useful against Brack himself. I want to make a lot of mutas this mission. Uh, we gotta... Here, let's get these first. I'm gonna get the movement speed for the Brood Queen so that they can keep up with the muta. Then keep building these guys. And the muta is 180 HP, 1 base armor, 8 damage, 14 versus light, 3 range. Emergency warp cooldown reduced by 45 seconds. Can teleport to any visible location on... Oh. Bounce six times by default and do not lose damage with it. <laughs> oh. Okay, so these are super glass cannons. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. Like, that is crazy glass cannon damage. And AoE glass cannon more so than anything else. So, I can see these primal hives on the map. They're all marked. 
I it says it'll enrage Brack. Does that mean that we will? Does that is it some? What is this bonus? Is the real question. Obviously, we're gonna do it. But does that mean that it pulls Drac Brack and makes him fight, or is it something else? That is what I'm not entirely sure about. But we will learn. Let's get this here, and then. Yeah, something like that looks good. Just keep that area safe, then we're gonna grab all this, and let's get an attack upgrade, and an attack upgrade. Why is one of my overseers... One's really big and one's really small. <laughs> what? Why is one so small and the other so little tiny? <laughs> it's like a gym advertisement. <laughs> well, alright. I noticed the top of this map has like a bunch of stuff up here and I kind of think that there's probably going to be an infested command center up there somewhere. So like, it's just like extra room up here. It usually stops like right here, I think. So we have this extra vision range. Let's uh, use it to scout that area. So we got this. Boom. We're not going to move that quickly. We've got to get our upgrades and get a decent number of mutas before we can do anything. Keep our creep spread going. This is a great creep map. Nice. Oh, those are regular Zerglings. Look at that. Those are not the slow version. <laughs> hmm. Ah, uh, looks like there's a bunch of nothing up here. Well, that's a shame. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh. Alrighty. Let's uh let's keep investigating. I'm sensing Wait, I have an idea. Primal nearby, but it's small. Primal oh, I couldn't get it. Strong. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. Approach. Absorb I thought I landed on top of it, but apparently I didn't. Can we get this guy out of here? Okay, he's safe. He's just going to regenerate for a while, and then we'll keep scouting with him. Try to figure out what's going on with this map. So, uh, base up here is golden. Um, I wish to be the lord of all which is golden, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna go up there. That's a pretty good ba place to be anyway. Though, we do have to make sure we have our defenses over here as well, because it's pretty easy to be hit in multiple places on this map. It's a big and open one. Things can go bad, basically. Queue up a couple upgrades, and I'm getting a lot of mutas right now, and then we will go. Now, how fast is this? This is 4.15. This is 4.7. Whoa. That is a blisteringly fast mutalisk. Even with the speed upgrade, the queen can't quite keep up. And I love to see it. So we should have enough money for lots of spines defensively once we have all this stuff cleared. Let's just grab these bonus objectives in the area and start figuring out exactly what we want to do. I can't believe they have a global teleport. <laughs> just... Why does the Muta have a global teleport? <laughs> it's ridiculous. I guess it's good on this map because of how big and open it is. They seem very nice. Those are Ravasaurs. Okay, so the enemy is definitely buffed. We have to stop them. Oh wait, we can see every time that they try to do this, right? So it's impossible to lose. <laughs> because the moment they start taking it, we just teleport on over and be like, oh, I'm not sure that you're qualified. I, I'm okay with that. Let's get some more of this gas. Your number's looking nice. Scout this area, just see what's going on. I'm just gonna queue you up everywhere. You'll die eventually, but you'll get information for us in the process. Hopefully if command center a bait oh! An enemy base with gold minerals. What are they making us fight at the end of this mission? Why are there so many gold bases? Oh Viper. Oh no. <laughs> I see how it is. I see what we're doing here. I think these need to retreat over to home. It's the, here, build a bunch of mutas and then we're gonna hit you with Viper's mission. Now that's pretty rude, but very funny. 
Okay, you want to take this base. Let's just make sure there's no defenders. Just some Quilgore. I can't pick up this money. I really want it. Our supply is high. How much are these? Three supply apiece. So that explains uh, why we're maxing out so quick. We're almost there at the 10 minute mark. Where is the drone? It's still queued. He's just slow. It's not stuck or something. Oh, there we go. You got it. And we gotta keep this place safe as we escort a bunch of drones across, so. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I do have to be careful. I have to be very, very careful because apparently it teleports them all onto one pile. And that is definitely a way to lose the game very fast. But I feel like if we get a bunch of drones over here mining this gold base, we're going to do great. And maybe we want to bust this base. They got primal worms. Yep. That's, uh, that's Parasitic Bomb, my favorite. We're just gonna have to split against that. That was not a good split. Wasn't really expecting to be blasted with it right there. But apparently Vipers are on the map, not, not just in the base. So we'll keep that in mind as we prepare for the future. Now, we might as well get the bonus objective while we're up here. I'm preparing to attack the Primal Hives. I'm just trying to do the bonuses first for the most part. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is looking great. And yeah, let's go do this bonus. I don't want to split in any way, shape, or form on this because of the vipers. Any time that I take my eyes off of my mutas is probably the biggest failure point, right? That's when the mission could end. Let's get an overlord over here. Turn it into an overseer. Uh, hello. Keep taking all this stuff down. Ah, it's just a capture wave. So now we have vision over this and a bunch of defenses there. We'll get a couple spores, and this place seems incredible. What a great base. That's a rich Vespine geyser. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of bases on this map. In fact, I'm going to say a concerningly large number of bases on this map. Oh, we just can't pick up with uh, changelings. Okay. Let's send them into the base. Last time we tried, it didn't work, but maybe if we can transform them out of sight, then we can... Okay, let's see if this works. No. I don't think that changelings are useful in this game. It's a shame, I think they're really cool, but it does appear like the AI just knows exactly what's going on with them. So do we go for this base? It's not required, but these are rich geysers too, they're purple. And we're maxed. This seems like what we want. Okay, that was not not great, but we're all right. We didn't die much. Only half dead. Yeah, as long as we can get little groups like that taking the damage, it's okay. If it's only hitting like five guys, could not could not care less right now. Couple of these guys over here. And it looks like we have taken this area down. I like these mutas. It's just, they are so dangerous to be playing with in Big Viper Land. Which is the worst amusement park I've ever heard of. Forces are destroying biomass. They can have that one. Because I'm really happy with the progress that we're making right here. 
So we're gonna work on the primal high bonus objective next, or rather, the uh, we'll get the primal Kerrigan essence, and then we'll do the primal hive one. Because the primal hive is the one that says that it makes Brack angry, and that means one of two things. Either he's going to send some really, really scary attack waves as we kill the Primal Hives for the bonus objective that gives us something cool. Or it's an alternate way to get Brack to attack us. I'm not sure which it is. But either sounds fine. We have so much money in the bank. This base has been absolutely insane. And we're now going to go grab the base over here. Defense is looking good. Just head on south. I am making sure that I'm getting all my upgrades. Let's, uh, do we have... We need a Roachworn. And a Hydra Den. Gotta make sure that we have those in order to not, uh... Assume if Brack has, like, some crazy anti-air, I want to make sure that I have a tech transition available. And yeah, we're going to make a bunch of hatcheries before that, too. Because we have so much money. Vicious Glaive obtained. Plus two range and their glaive bounces farther. Nice. So we've gotten a lot of upgrades for these. They seem very good. Oh, that one didn't do his little glob thing. This is... <laughs> okay, there's three hatcheries at this base. They're doing the smart strat. You guys over here. Oh, that base was not taken. There's probably some guys over there. I don't even think that I need that base. Not with 6k in the bank and max. Let's just try to keep the enemy down. More gas. Oh, my overlord. Here's the first primal hive. Oh, I tried to use the teleport to dodge the, uh, thing, and I'm not sure if it worked or if he just cast another one, <laughs> or rather if it didn't work or if he just cast another one. So we have the rapid regeneration. We can just sit here for a bit and regenerate that. Maybe what we want to do is snipe the hive and then teleport out. I like that. Yeah, I'm okay with not mining at this point. Uh, it's dying slower than I would like. Okay, so they do keep the effect on them. <laughs> we gotta keep that in mind. It uh, doesn't last as long as the multiplayer version, but we cannot blink out of it. And they'll cast it on small... Oh, okay, they'll cast it on small groups of mutas. Hey, that's good info. That's really, really good info. That means that if we come down here. I don't care about any of that. Uh, we can stop this attack wave, that's fine. Oh my gosh, I am having a hard time. It's almost as if I have 40 mutas here and it's kind of difficult to grab one out of a pile of 40. Who would have guessed? All right, we got them all. Now Brack is going to attack us. We got something there. Yeah, Brack is attacking us. He's mad. Uh, I can't see what we got there. Maybe it's a passive? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> and we prepare to defend. Remember that we have the damage clamp, so Brack is not going to be able to do much damage to these. Despite normally doing 61, he's going to do 25. Oh, he's attacking up. We have all the bonuses. That's good. Hmm. Which way is he incoming? He's going to that base. That's actually 
potentially really good for us. Oh, no, guys, you got a split. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the Brack Snipe. Wow, these mutas are crazy. I mean, their kill speed against single targets is actually super mid. It's actually pretty bad uh, because they cost a lot of supply for what you're getting. But man, they are really good at AoE. They're hyper maneuverable. Very, very, very strong unit if you're willing to babysit them a lot ridiculously powerful all right that was a good mission uh we i think everything went very cleanly for the most part i don't know why i just moused over the achievements guys we got the achievements we lost less than we lost less than three drones <laughs> we're so good uh for the end of the mission let's just check out our upgrade here and see what we got plus two range bounce travels farther this is regeneration Yep, yep. And then emergency warp can store two charges. I think we're going to get the plus two range because it's funny. Uh, this one, I, we know this is good. And if it becomes really important, we'll get it. But plus two range seems actually really nice, particularly because they're so good against light units. This might mean we can fold a couple of them into. Now, they'll probably just get annihilated by anti-air. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. Kerrigan is level 15. We don't have any new stuff for her, but I do want to try Zergling Reconstitution for the next mission. And then let's go for the Empowered Crawlers because it's going to be a defense mission. And of course, uh, not really, not really seeing that one be great. I think this is better. Yeah, so let's make those crawlers good, see how they work with the swarm hosts, and we will do that next time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.